Maria Sanchez reporting live with KADYTV.com, and I have Bob Vias with me. Bob is the board chair or president? Both president of the Oxford Union High School District. I've been president uh, four times during my tenure here. Wow. Uh, 16 uh, years as uh, board of trustee of the district. And um, Bob, you're obviously here because of the press conference and because of the information that's being disseminated now to the community, which is why KADYTV.com is here. Can you share with our viewers your perspective on what was shared this morning? Well, the main thing is that we want to keep the community informed. I think it's an important issue. Uh, it's been in the newspapers uh, several times, and members of the community are anxious to find out uh, where the program states. And I think it was very well documented by our attorneys, uh, our uh, superintendent, Bob Carter. Uh, he's taken action to remedy this situation. Uh, he's gone throughout the state uh, to get the experts in food and nutrition management services. Uh, we have a lot of programs in place. Uh, we had all our uh, principals from each high school here because they're directly involved. Uh, they all have a cafeteria. So we want them to know what's being done, what, what was said, and, and what transpired so that these things don't happen again. So these things don't happen again. Now, one of the major concerns with the folks that were here was, of course, okay, the whistle has been blown, $5.6 million has been identified as being needed to be returned. And the biggest concern is how is that going to happen and what is that going to affect? At this point, uh, we just found out last week that $5.7 million is the money that we have to return. Now, uh, there's some negotiations that we have to do with the uh, federal government. Uh, we don't know if we're going to have to pay this in a 10-year increment or 5-year increment. Uh, they're also sensitive to the fact that the state has cut us back on, on funding. So I think something reasonable is going to come up, and uh, we're prepared to deal with it. Well, and it was mentioned today, too, that there are two insurance policies that may have benefits of a million dollars that they're looking into being able to avail themselves of those proceeds, because obviously that would help. Yes, we've been exploring that now for the last several months, and that, that will happen. Uh, we spent uh, thousands of dollars every year to have our books audited by uh, private uh, law uh, auditors. And for them not to see this, uh, we, we were very, very disappointed. So uh, I don't know how much we'll be able to recapture, but we're pursuing that avenue. Well, thank you for taking the time to visit with us. Bob Vias. 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 Excuse me. I'm infamous for mispronouncing no, no, people's no, no, names. Vias. No, no, no. Bob Vias. Bob You'll never forget. Okay. <laughs> Take thank care. We appreciate it. Sure. Maria Sanchez reporting live for KADYTV.com.